I fully realize that when we're out there in the middle of nowhere, off the grid, if you will, we've got to have certain creature comforts to keep you happy. And I'm going to do that, right? I First of all, that. look at this table I built you, like this riser. What do you think about that? What is this for? Is like for an altar for sacrifice? What's going no, on? No, no, it's for storage. Dude, we got batteries up there. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Storage underneath. It's laser cut for perfect fitment, dude. All good, right? But, but what's it for? I'll tell you, good question. See that? See our auxiliary batteries? Yeah, too? I like we that. We got to keep those charged so we can have power back here. I got the BC DC 1225 from Red Arc. That's going to keep those batteries charged. We just wire it up to the front. We'll mount that back here, and life is going to be good. And then we're going to have all kinds of power for all those toys and gadgets that you want. Oh, you mean like coffee in the morning? Like yeah. those obscure <laughs> luxuries that only people like me would like to have? And lights. But here, I'm painting in a picture you would like. A blender for margaritas. So okay. now we've got all the power we want to really get the good blender so you can make them like a man would. I'm coming around, dude. I'm coming around. So look, easy wiring, right? So your power, your ground. Here's your auxiliary. Hey, this is for solar too, right? Yeah, you ready for that? Up top, like a big Maybe panel? that's some next level we're not ready for just yet, but I like we got the option. We have that. Okay, so now we have to get this mounted. We're going to mount this as close as we can to the auxiliary batteries. So it is dust and moisture and heat resistant, but that doesn't mean that we want to like mount it in a puddle of water. Right? No, no. So you want to put it high and dry someplace nice and cool. 